What is good, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another review. This is not your average sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey, and today we're taking a look at the Pharrell Hue NMD and the white colorway. Now before we jump into the review, if this is your first time here, thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Also leave this video a thumbs up, that does help the YouTube channels grow. Trying to get the channel to 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. We will be doing a giveaway once we hit 1,000 subs as well. That will be bigger than our 500 sub giveaway. So now would be a good time to join the Not Your Average Sneakerhead family. Do appreciate you guys watching and look forward to bringing you guys more content going forward. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this sneaker. Now Pharrell and Adidas have been dropping tons of different monochromatic colorways of the NMD so far here in uh, fall of 2020. I want to say this is the third colorway to come out so far. I know you have the yellow colorway, which I do have a review up on the channel. I'll go ahead and link that uh, up above and down below. You also had the black colorway, which I passed on, and you had this all white colorway which dropped, I believe, in the last week of uh, November. I was able to secure my pair from Hibbit Sports, so they had their uh, online raffle on the app. So I was able to hit a pair of these so I didn't have to uh, get them off of the Adidas app or anything like that. And this actually is not a pair for me. This is a pair I secured for someone else. But I did want to give you guys a good look at the sneaker in case you were on the fence about picking these up because right now these are still available all over the place online and resale prices for these are pretty, pretty good. I think they actually may be going below retail too. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. Video. but let's go ahead and take a look at the box so the hue nmd comes in this kind of like creamish gray box with the hue on top of it in the, the date 2018 and you do have some pharrell and adidas branding on the corner there and this is uh, the hue nmd it's a size eight and a half which is also my true size my friend wears the same size as i do and there is no official colorway on the sneaker but that's what the label looks like open the box up you do have same white adidas paper with uh, some gold adidas branding on it so pretty simple uh, packaging and branding for these sneakers let's go ahead and look at the sneaker so now while i am a fan of the hue nmd uh, line and the silhouette this colorway just might be a bit too much white for my taste but we can still talk about some of the details so you do have uh, the the lettering there on the top of the sneaker that is pretty customary with hue nmd sneakers not sure what language that is in but i'm pretty sure that it does say human race and this is a all white so sock like uh, booty upper so you do have the collar that's pretty high a little dip right here where your ankle goes go to the back of the sneaker you have that leather tab right there with the pharrell williams branding on one sneaker then on the other sneaker, you do have the Adidas branding on the, on the rear of it. Then moving up the side, so it's all, as I mentioned, pretty thick white prime knit. There is a little bit of uh, material here in the toe box to help, to help the shoe keep some of its structure. Then you do have this uh, little cage right here on the side. We lace the sneakers up. You do have your NMD pots, one there in the front, one there in the rear. That's where the uh, lacing system goes through. You do have one more pot on the medial side there in the back, and those are also done in white, all white boost midsole and you also do have an all white uh, NMD outsole with some Adidas branding there in the center of the outsole. So pretty simple colorway, not much to talk about there in terms of details. One detail that I do like that gives the shoe some contrast is the sock liner of the inside of the sneaker. That is done in black. That's a pretty nice touch right there. You do still have your same NMD uh, classic uh, insole where it does have um, the diagram of the foot and some of the ways that the foot connects to other parts of the body. Now they do come with an extra set of laces as well. You do have white and gray laces uh, inside the sneaker, which it starts with. And then you also do have a set of black laces in case you want to give the sneaker a little bit more contrast. And if I did keep these sneakers, I probably would throw the black laces in there myself. And at the end of the aggregates of the laces, you do have uh, the three stripes uh, branding on the aglets. Looking at the right sneaker, details are the exact same. So overall, as I mentioned before, pretty simple colorway. Uh, it's a very clean colorway, but for me, I'm not a big fan of all white sneakers. So this is probably, this is one that I definitely did pass on. And strangely enough, this is probably the reason why I passed on this one. So these came right out the box. I have not worn these at all. And the outsole of this one is already a little bit dirty right out of the box. So that's something that's a little bit alarming in terms of uh, durability for the sneaker. It'd be really hard for me to keep these sneakers clean. Um, maybe a sneaker that I probably would wear every once in a while because of how white it is. And if you do try to even clean these with some rejuvenator or any other um, 
sneaker cleaner, they're just gonna look dingy over time. And that's not something that I typically like in my sneakers. So that's the reason why I chose to go ahead and pass on these and let uh, my boy pick these up off of me for retail. So he's gonna be pretty happy with these. He's a big fan of uh, the NMD line and glad I was able to throw an assist to him. But for me, one that I definitely chose to pass on. Now, in terms of sizing for uh, the Hue NMD lines, I've had a couple different ones. I had the NMD Trail ones from last year, the black ones with the gum outsole. And those I got in size nine and they fit me really big. I did get my yellow pair in a size eight and a half as well as I talked about in my review for those. And that fits me much better. And honestly, I probably could have even gone down to a size eight in these. So I would recommend either going true to size or if you have a really narrow foot going down half a size. As I mentioned, I have a pretty narrow foot. I'm a size eight and a half. And if I went down to a size eight knees, they still would fit me just fine. So that would be my recommendation for sizing for this sneaker. Now let's talk about resale for these sneakers. So resale for Hewlett Lemon D's right now is pretty much non-existent. So I would definitely not want to pick these up for any kind of investment purposes. If you're not going to make any money on these. You'll probably even lose money on these. But for a personal sneaker, I would say it's a pretty good pickup. They're actually really comfortable. Um, they look really good with, uh, with skinny jeans or with some joggers. So if you didn't want to just pick these to wear casually, uh, go for it. You can't go wrong with the NMD silhouette. Looks pretty good on foot. Uh, but just be careful with this uh, all white colorway because that will get pretty dirty. Just attract dirt uh, all day long. But overall, not a bad sneaker. I just not one that I would pay resale for because you can pick these up for resale or even if you wait a little while, probably have to grab these on sale pretty soon. Well, that's going to do it for my review of the Hue NMD in the all white colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker down in the comment section below. Did you pass on these? I know the Hue NMD uh, hype is dead. They're really trying their hardest to bring these back. I think they're going to be a sneaker that NMD fans just go ahead and grab because they, they look silhouette. But in terms of hype or anything like that, the hype on NMDs is pretty much gone. And if you want to get these for, uh, for personal use, you shouldn't have any problem picking these up this colorway or any other of the colorways that can't be in the middle. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, do you uh, pass on NMDs? Do you still rock with them? Or is this sneaker that you probably would change your mind on and go grab these? Because they are a pretty clean sneaker. If you're in an all-white sneaker, it's definitely one that I would consider in my collection. Just not one that's for me. But that's going to do it for my review of the Hue NMD in the all-white colorway. This is not your ever sneakerhead, Tony Ramsey. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next review. Peace.